Welcome to another LEGO video from Aspie with Attitude. If you're watching this for the first time, my name is David. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I have autism. I have some speech difficulty, a speech impairment, and a speech impairment, and I have a speaker syndrome, and that's why I call myself an Aspie. What I normally do on this YouTube channel is, I am normally talk about autism and other stuff, and always make videos about my autistic behaviour. Apart from making YouTube channels, one of my favourite hobbies happens to be Lego, being an adult fan of Lego. And I'd like to make another video like this. As it all happens though, like, this is all dedicated for those who are actually into a bit of space Lego here. So this is one of my favourite spaceships, which is the Galaxy Explorer, set number 918, which I'll get into in a moment. Therefore, I'm just going to offer you some close-up shots of a Lego that's been sitting on either side of me before I even get started showing you and explaining my whole classic Lego space collection and my background has all been part of my childhood which is actually very important and now I think it's time to really show you the entire collection and before we start if you're into classic Lego space, do you ever have this? What I want to show you with this thing is, I'm going to show you a bit of Easter eggs that nobody else probably hasn't even discovered yet. Yeah, please come along with me. Let's check out my entire Lego space collection from Aspie with Attitude, Lego number 10, classic Lego space. Before I give you a close-up shot and I'll explain my full Lego Space Classic sets that I've got behind me. I just want to tell you a bit of history and the background I have with a Lego Space Beam. The Lego Space Beam has been around since the 1960s during the NASA's Apollo era when they were on a mission to make the USA to be the first nation to land humans on the moon since it was the space race between the United States of America and the Soviet Union of Russia. However it is, the mission was accomplished on the 20th of July 1969 when the first human did land on the moon who happens to be Neil Armstrong, the American who planted the American flag on the surface of the moon and both Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made a safe journey home back to Earth and after that it was five times that the Americans did land humans on the moon. It all ended back in December 1972. The first Lego space sets did not have the Lego minifigures up until 1978. It was in the exact same year when the iconic Lego minifigures were put on the market that year. It was back in my early childhood when I was two years old back in 1982 it was me and my brother had Lego classic space sets and all we had was the red and the white space minifigures. We never had the blue or yellow minifigures at all. It was in 1990 as a 10 year old, I did eventually get my first and only yellow space minifigure alongside the black space minifigure which I'll explain shortly when I do the close-up shot of my whole entire Space Lego collection. Which this collection did start in the middle of 2018 as the adult fan of Lego. I had started once again regaining all the classic Lego space, all based on what I can remember from my childhood days. And also bought the Lego sets that I've never owned back in my childhood, just to diversify to see what's actually there. Since I've ordered most of them from Brinklink and going to these Lego markets. Classic Lego space is a theme alongside Classic Lego Town. It's something that I had to grew up as a child before I had the Classic Lego Pirates back in 1989. Therefore, since the age of two, pretty much up to when I was eight years old, all we only had was pieces from the classic Lego town and a classic Lego space 
and we've actually had fragments of it all put away in a container back in the days when I was actually used to build rainbow houses and how me and my brother used to always like to sort of play a bit of Lego War something I just do not do anymore now that at the time of this video obviously Russia was invading Ukraine so anyway away from politics now time to look at the Lego Welcome to my collection of my classic Lego space collection which I'm actually going to show you what I actually have as an adult these days as I've explained before all we had growing up as a kid was just the white and the red minifigures and I can actually bring you some from close to the camera that's all we basically had and I can remember all we had was the red and the white leg pieces. We did have the black ones and the blue ones which came from our classic Lego Town collection. Yeah, it just gets sad though, like, I can remember seeing a lot of fragments from the mini Galaxy Explorer here. And one thing I tried to figure out as a kid was like, what did LL918 supposed to mean? I remember that used to appear on my Lego Rainbow Houses pretty much maybe when I was about five, six, seven years old. And sometimes when I used to build the Lego cars, I just used to use them as retro plates. And I've just learned that LL is supposed to stand for Legoland and 918 is actually the set number for the single Galaxy Explorer. And it's just the first time that I can hold my hands the whole Lego Galaxy Explorer all intact. And with a red minifigure inside. So how awesome is this? So I'm just going to put that down for a sec. Since I've got a very dark shadow being cast on it. Basically, he actually lives inside. And I think that was my brother who actually owned this one. And I'm 100% convinced that my brother used to own this one. And what makes me think that too, like, I'll just show you this. I remember we used to have that Lego computer all the time. That's a piece me and my brother used to fight over when, when I was pretty much eight years old. And I can just put that back. It'll never again be in fragments like it was back in my childhood days. And I can tell you, I'm 100% convinced that this was my brother's. And also, I'm convinced he actually had that small little buggy. And I'll show you what I got for my fourth birthday back in 1983. And you can see me getting all my presents. One of them actually did involve a classic Lego space set. And that happens to be this space rocket. Actually, absolutely classic this one. And I was glad to have actually ordered this on Bricklink. I think I've ordered this from Canada. And I'm just absolutely happy to have this one back. Because I've seen this in the photo that I just showed you, and that's another computer that me and my brother used to fight over. So, like, there was actually my computer, since my brother did make a claim that it was his Lego computer, when my brother wanted all the good pieces and I had to get all the bad pieces. And the pink Lego minifigures never, ever, ever had existed at all. And that came from a Lego movie set. And since they were all pink, I decided to put the female faces. Like, I thought it would just be cool just to have some space women involved. And basically, most of them actually did 
come out of the Lego movie set and I actually only really bought two sets. And you can just see how there's Benny smiling. I couldn't do without, despite back in my childhood days, never ever ever owned a blue minifigure like that at all. And I do remember when some of the Lego helmets we owned, we did have broken chin straps. Since it's all part of the history now back in 1978, if you're just gonna constantly remove a helmet, you may expect that a chin strap to be broken and just turn out to be just like a hood to be worn over your head. And it's just a bit of a play where that's causing the Lego minifigure to split. And generally, like here, just never ever owned these back in my childhood days, except for these two. Like, I got that when I was 10 years old, bought this back in January 1990. Like, I remember I spent my birthday money on this Lego kit, since I sort of like wanted something a lot more different from Pirates. And that's the only yellow space minifigure that I actually ever got to own, which happens to be the Lego, because they call it the Futron. That's the name of the Lego faction. And I know I've never ever had the blue minifigure, which I actually took the opportunity to get it cheap on BrickLink in that condition. And one other one that I had was the Laser Ranger, and that's the black minifigure. Like, I owned it pretty much at the same time when I had that one. So like, I was only allowed to spend 20 bucks on Lego when I was 10 years old. And that's all I ever, ever, ever end up having. And which has made me very happy to have those. And those didn't get smashed up probably till around about April 1990. Well, since the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was actually kind of taking over Lego back then. And this is just my biggest prize, so like, I'm not going to bother actually building this one. So, this is actually too big to have in my apartment. I don't need to build this while well, actually got this Galaxy Explorer, which I'm actually so happy, a bit more compact. And why did I buy this for? Like, I want to keep it still in the box because, like, one day it's probably going to triple in value. Since that, if you really love Lego, you do get a temptation that you really want to actually build this. Well, since I'm going to get a car, I've just got to turn this around. And something I really wanted to show you this is something that no one has ever thought of. All thanks to my autism. And you can see this diagram here that tells you the size of it. Even reading on the size of it, like I just do not have a room to accommodate such a big spaceship like this anywhere in my apartment. Since I'm also into Lego Pirates and Lego Castle as well. And you can actually take the single man Galaxy Explorer, but it has to be set 918. And that's the one that has a single space van. And did you know that if you actually put it on top of it, you know, this is all actually blown up to be exactly the same size as the set 918 single man Galaxy Explorer. I'm surprisingly no one has ever ever picked that one up yet at all. So like, I'm probably gonna be the first to actually reveal this on social media. And I must show you the date when I did actually publish this video, which is actually definitely March 2023. And you'll see in the description down below to make sure that I'm not lying to you. Cause like, once people have a bit of a wow factor over it, nice, yep. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be a big story or if it's just some people in detail that no one's ever gonna care, but at least you do know, you know now. Now I'm just so excited, just in case it was actually deliberate that they did that. And that's the reason why I had to make this video just for that, actually. So, 
I'll put that down and I'll turn it around just to show you even though that's got the four minifigures that I've actually grew up with since I've got plenty of the white ones and the red ones I know there's actually one particular classic Lego space ship I'm going to get the involves the white one I pretty much did all pretty much do me I don't tend to have too much of it at all and this is all just to show and yeah this one's absolutely cool something I've never got to own as a child and it's becoming a bit of a long video so like I just made this for the adult fan of Lego and I think I just want to finish it off since that this is so much to talk about and I can never ever forget those grey aliens the only reason I've got two of them is because I do love the greys and this is all part of my collection here and I love to collect a few more grey aliens so like I can imagine they've landed on the planet and they can breathe the air but the humans can't so they're all going to be stuck in these spacesuits at all cost and let's sit down and chill out and finish off this video from Aspie of Attitude which is my classic Lego space collection Lego number 10 Well dudes, what did you actually think of my classic Lego space collection here? Yeah, absolutely awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, I just, at the age of 43 years old I've just never ever ever thought that I was going to see something like this in my life ever again and I'm glad these days, like, everything's just all intact. It's not like back in my childhood days when we never ever kept them intact like this. It was just all in fragments, just put away in a Lego tub. Going back to the days, we would build something, break it up again, build something new, pretty much around and around and around till we actually got too old for Lego. And I've never, ever, ever got too old for Lego since up to when I was 15 years old. Anyway, so like I'm gonna return to the couch and pretty much sign off. And please leave in the comments down below to let me know what you think of my classic Lego space collection here. And I'll let you know that I'm proud of it and I'd really love to get a few more, but not too many of it, of course. I made a return to the couch and I certainly did show you the easter eggs of the 2022 Galaxy Explorer how I've explained this for instance like yeah just just remember this spaceship as well if I bring it a bit closer and I think it's time to sit down and finish it off this is actually my second Space Lego video upload for this channel something I did back on the 28th of October 2019 which happened to be my third and I'll just give you a bit of a flashback on what I was talking about I had at a time took interest in the 2019 Lego set just a Lego city when they're exploring Mars and that's pretty much all to it well this day and age I've actually lost all interest in the 2019 Space Lego City sets now and it's the time to actually bring up the Lego Classic Space now because like at the time of this upload this is when Elon Musk is just about to launch his Starship from SpaceX which happens to be a most powerful rocket not only that how cool is this to be so reusable and finally getting a space shuttle big as a jumbo jet we'll just see about that. Once Elon Musk 
formally succeeds with his Starship program from SpaceX in Boca Chica, Texas, well, we're into the new space age. And this is the time to show you my classic LEGO space collection. And I'd like to really finish it off with the fidget spin nose trick. Hope you really enjoyed my classic LEGO space collection from Aspie of Attitude. Peace and respect and see you next time. And I'd love to make more LEGO videos after the success that I had with LEGO number 9 when I talked about my classic LEGO castle, Frostman Faction. Well, see you next time.